Hi guys, it's Coral with Coral Creations. Welcome back to part two of the Holographic and Foil Tumbler. A lot of you had asked if I would make another follow-up video and show how I applied the Argyle template. You're gonna wanna start by measuring the width and the height of your tumbler. I wanna note that everyone's measurements are going to be different depending on the epoxy and how many coats you do end up using. So be sure to measure after you have a smooth surface to apply your template. Go ahead and upload your template into your software. I use the Argyle pattern from LEB Creates, which I'll link in the description box below. Ungroup the pattern and type in the dimensions that you had previously measured and make sure to unlock when you are adding in the height after your width. Go ahead and cut this out. And here you'll see me, I'm measuring a piece of paper around the tumbler. I cut out a square from the shapes in Cricut Design Space of the exact size of my template, just to make sure that it definitely does fit before I go ahead and cut out a vinyl. This step is not necessary. It's just something that works for me. Um, so once you know that you have the right size template, add my transfer tape um, and peel that off, however is easiest for you. I'm not too worried about any wrinkles or bumps in this because it's just going to be peeled off anyway. So uh, I just stick it on there pretty quickly. Notice when I apply the template, I am adding the diamonds right on that hard line so it's covered with spray paint. That way it'll just appear to be a continuous ombre all the way around the cup. Go in and pull off every other row of diamonds. These are gonna be the sections where when you spray paint your cup black, um, the black will stay. Anything under the vinyl obviously is going to be the foil underneath. Okay, and once your spray paint is dry, go in and pull off all of the vinyl. Once I got all the vinyl removed, I just set it aside until the next day. After I had given my uh, spray paint enough time to gas off, I went in with the epoxy. This just helps to avoid any fish eyes in, in the epoxy from not allowing enough time in between adding the spray paint and then applying your epoxy. So get your coat on there. I go in and zap it with the torch real quick. And then again, 20 minutes later. For the pinstriping, I use nail tape, which I got off of Amazon, and I will link that in the description box below. I believe the pack came with about 18 different rolls, uh, three sizes for each color of the rainbow, and it has like an iridescent film over top of the, the colored tape, so it just really went well with the whole iridescent look of this uh, tumbler. I use the three millimeter tape to outline all of my diamonds. And then I went back in with the one millimeter tape and did the crisscross over the center of all my diamonds. And once I got all those on, I cut out my own uh, pinstripes from black vinyl. I think I did about a two millimeters in width. And that was just slightly smaller than my larger iridescent tape. And it really, you know, 
gave it a sharp look. There was a problem when I was filming and I didn't realize that it had stopped. So it kind of just jumps ahead here to where I'm adding the last of the black pinstripes. But, but you can see what I'm doing here. Um, so just add the black vinyl stripes over the larger iridescent stripes that outline the diamonds. And it really will just make the whole design pop, in my opinion. I just finish it up by trimming off any longer pieces that I had on the edges. And that is it. Go in with some epoxy until smooth. And... Your cup is finished. Oh, and I do outline the top and the bottom. I just like the way that looks where the black meets the, the pattern. And that is, that is it. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And uh, till next time, have a great day.